Hello everyone, I'm Joseph Dinesh, a Catholic commentator from Sydney, Australia. In today's video, I will discuss the heated debate between Pearl Davis and Trent Horn that took place on the Pines with Aquinas channel. This short clip from the debate encapsulates the entire discussion, highlighting Pearl's assertions and how Trent Horn demonstrates the fallacies in our argument. Before we start the discussion, I would like to clearly state Pearl's assertion and the fallacies observed by Trent Horn. Pearl Davis in her typical anti-women rhetoric argues that marriage isn't beneficial for men today because women are allegedly promiscuous, obese and seek alimony, that women are to be blamed for all the societal issues and men should stay away from marriage for their own happiness. Now, the fallacies identified by Trent Horn are the first one, the comparison fallacy and the second, anecdotal fallacy. Now that we have this understanding, let's begin. In the first clip, Pearl observes that she has seen many women from various religions going to court seeking divorce and obtaining alimony and child support. From this, she concludes that this behavior is common among all women and which is why men should stay away from marriage. Let's listen to her. So I'm Catholic, but I still think the laws are unfavorable to men and I have seen Catholic women ruin men in divorce court. I've seen Christian women, Jewish women, Buddhist women. I, I've seen it across religions and I don't tend to see much of a difference. Um, you know, there, there's no Catholic woman in divorce court. Many women believe one thing when they sign the, when they get married and then they believe another thing 20 years later. So to this assertion, Trenton points out the first fallacy in our argument. Let's listen. That's the anecdote fallacy and the comparison fallacy. Mm -hmm. Just because bad things happen to some people, it doesn't mean that that thing is bad for a majority of people. And the comparison fallacy, just because there's bad things associated with one choice, that doesn't mean that it's a bad deal because the other choice could be a worse deal. Bad things statistically are more likely to happen to people who cohabit and can have these same things happen to them, or men who just ignore women for the rest of their lives and become never married and die prematurely like from, sui from suicide, from, like from unhealthy individuals. Like, would you consider I'm, priests that? Priests are. Because by your logic, okay. they would be. Anecdotal fallacies occurs when someone relies on personal anecdotes or isolated examples to support a general claim or conclusion without considering broader statistical evidence or the possibility of other factors influencing the situation. Essentially, it is the mistake of using individual experiences or stories as the basis for drawing sweeping conclusions about a larger issue or phenomenon. So applying this to Pearl's argument, she says marriage is always doomed to fail because she knows several people who have gone through divorces. Based on this alone, she incorrectly concludes that every married couple eventually ends up divorced, making marriage a bad idea for everyone, especially men. Even if we overlook her flawed assumption, we can't ignore her conclusion that marriage is a bad idea, which is why throughout the video, she fails to provide any statistical data to support her claim that married people are unhappy and that marriage is a bad idea. So the point Trent is making is, Pearl's argument relies solely on personal anecdotes without considering the multitude of successful marriages that exist in reality. Okay, now the second fallacy that Trent talks about is the comparison fallacy. The comparison fallacy occurs when two or more things are compared in a way that is misleading or illogical. This fallacy arises when the similarities between the things being compared are not relevant to the point being made or when important differences are ignored. So applying this to Pearl's argument, she says that staying single is always better for men than getting married because of the many divorces that we observe in our society today and the significant hardships that come along with it. In essence, she's saying, look at all the divorces happening around us. Clearly staying single is the smarter choice. You avoid all the drama and the heartache of marriage. Well, the first problem is that staying single and marriage cannot be directly compared because marriage involves another person, whereas staying single does not. Second, she incorrectly assumes that staying single is better than marriage, willfully ignoring the higher risks of depression, social anxiety, addictions and other issues associated with being single. Third, even if we agree that marriage is a bad idea for men, how do we know that staying single isn't even worse? Which is why you'll find throughout the video, Pearl ignores the reality that both marriage and staying single have their own advantages and disadvantages, with the decision depending on the individual preferences, values and circumstances. By focusing solely on the negative aspects of marriage and ignoring its potential benefits and fulfillment, her argument overlooks the diversity of experiences and fails to provide a balanced comparison between the two options. Finally, I would like to end with a four-line poem. Pearl Davis asserts her usual claim. Marriage for men, she says, brings only pain. With women's flaws, she paints a bleak view. Trent shows her fallacies. 
her logic askew. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. God bless you.